uh, for designs, you want to get, especially, I have to say, children's toys, uh, things that come on things to hold them together. Uh, this is plastic off of some kid's toy. Um, I don't know, these are 33 cents. Uh, at Michael's. <laughs> we have a little button here with a flower, shells. Um, ceramic toy I, I got, I don't know, uh, some beads, um, have a button here. There are just so many different things. Um, also things from nature are really nice. Uh, even the back of this pencil could make a very interesting, this uh, eraser could make an interesting impression. So to do that, let's see, what am I going to do with this? Wow, so many choices. Uh, I think that I'm going to do this just for fun. I have never used this before. I notice I'm picking this up by the paper and then I don't uh, ruin things. And we'll just see how this turns out. Let's see. And when I do this, I really go back and forth a lot. I go back and forth like this. And you're going. I'm going to go opposite side. Um, and that is to help it get back out. So I'm going back and forth. It's also making it so that I can get this, uh, the imprint of this deeper. There we go. I'm going opposite side so that I will for sure not be left having just, you know, not enough room for um, one left, one more or something like that. You know what I mean? I'm sure you do. Great, okay, that's kind of fun, like this. Can't even remember what this was holding. But now I'm just gonna go between these. Interesting. So once you kind of have an idea of, you know, the, uh, the four parts, you might say, you know, one, two, three, four, uh, north, south, east, west. Then you can easily go between them evenly. This is kind of interesting. I think I have to try this. Yeah, so it's like, it's kind of neat because these ones are going up and this one is going to the side. Have fun with it. Try some different things. And maybe one more. Nah, I think I like it like that. Good. Okay, so next step. This one right here is just with a pencil, but of course it needs lots of cleanup. Uh, okay. So now we're going to be adding some things to the bottom. We're going to be adding some coils. And we're going to be adding the center part. So the first ascender part, we're going to go ahead and get that last piece of clay for that center part, probably about half of it. And we're going to roll it first this way, first flat. And then we're gonna do that karate chop method, which I, I talk about a lot, where we go, we're going to go at an angle like this, a diagonal. And so my hand right here is almost touching the surface and I'm putting more force here. This part of my hand isn't actually even hardly touching the clay. If it doesn't touch the clay, then sometimes it goes too, uh, too fat too quickly. And I really want to have a nice, um, you know, a nice gradual uh, bend up, you know, a slant up to that top. So I can do that also by then moving my hand as I do this, moving it slowly up, and that's pretty nice. So I just decide what size I want it. I think I want this to be kind of a, a short one, like this. And then I'm going to just make sure before I go on that my ring fits. That's pretty good. Notice how this is not round anymore. So now I'm going to squeeze it to get it back to round. I'm going to score where I want it. But first, I'm gonna turn it round and round to make sure that it's in the center. So 
score the bottom, score what I'm attaching. Try to keep it, you know, not any thicker than, you know, say your thumb, because if you do, um, then there are issues with the drying process. And now I'm really pressing down quite hard to do this. <laughs> 